www.newtobus.com. Name's Ty. This video is still a part of the ZTE zxv 10 w 300 series modem router tutorial videos that I'm creating. And this time, what I would like to show you is and how you can change the LAN IP address of your ZTE device. What you do is you access your modem through 192.168.1.1. I'm assuming that that is your gateway or IP address. If you can't access, we have a different tutorial for that that you can just check out from the list of the videos that we have. It would somehow help. But to a point that you get through to this uh, username and password page, just type in admin and um, just log in and here, IP address, uh, sorry, it should take you to a device info page, a status page. So to verify, just click on device info and it would bring you uh, the same page, but look for something that says IP address right here, 192.168.1.1. That's the one that we used in accessing this page right here. Uh, question, why would we want to change the IP address of this certain device. Sometimes there are conflicts with uh, other devices that you currently have. Let's say you have another router. Your router is a D-Link router which also might be using, well a D-Link router's default IP is 0 0.1, 192.168.0.1. But thinking so, that it's using a 192.168.1.1 then you're going to add in another device like this it's going to get uh, IP conflicts. It's either going to see your network is either going to see this device or the other device or sometimes it can't see anything. Right so you get somehow like a network jam you're, you're going to get into trouble, you're not going to get internet, not going to get connection. Another scenario you'd want to use a D-Link router straight to this to hook it up to uh, as an extender or maybe an addition or maybe you'd want to use a switch. Whatever your purpose is, if you're going to change your IP address, you just do that here. Uh, sorry, not maintenance, but here, interface setup. And look up for something that says Internet LAN Wireless. You go for LAN and there you go, main IP address. Just have to change this to 192.168. Probably you can use 0 0.1. Okay, and uh, just same subnet. It's it's the only thing that you just have to do actually. And uh, just click on save right at the bottom. Again, 192.168.0.1. You get something that says starting IP. You can also make that zero. Then click on save from there. I'm not going to change because I'm using this as an active modem right now. So if you save that, what you do, you will actually lose this page after you save it. If you try to reaccess 192.168.1.1, it's going to give you a blank page already because the IP has changed. So what you do is 192.168.0.1 or whatever IP you used. So it should bring you the new page. All right, but if it doesn't, you could verify that. Uh, CMD, I mean, sorry, Windows key and R together on your keyboard. You give, uh, we give you a run and go for CMD. Then type in IP, C-O-N-F-I-G, to verify your IP address. Once you successfully did change that, it should say 192.168.0.1. If it doesn't work, you might want to restart everything. Why? So that you could refresh. Um, the DHCP on your modem. Alright, for some other video tutorials, you could always check out www.newtoboss.com and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.